<clears throat> yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. You guys, a little bit of time to get on here. This is a massive, huge lesson, unfortunate lesson that I had to learn. So I want to definitely give you guys some time to get on here real quick. Hope you guys are having an awesome night so far. Just went on Periscope a little bit ago. Make sure you watch that replay of my Periscope. Gem and Faye, thank you for inviting your followers. Make sure you guys <clears throat> swipe right or swipe up and, and invite your followers <clears throat> for sure. Gem and Faye, thank you so much. Um, lots of stuff, lots of valuable tips that we come around uh, at you guys at random times, which is why I love Periscope. But if you guys, hey, let me know if you uh, say yes if you saw my last Periscope. <clears throat> say yes if you guys saw my last Periscope real quick. Say yes. Awesome, 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 awesome. Hey, uh, Jamey, uh, at Jamey, uh, that's good. I'm glad you guys saw it. At Jamey, hit me up on Facebook. I'm going to give you a $5 gift card for sharing this with your followers since you were the first one to do it. All right? So hit me up on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Ortega Jr. Hit me up on a message. Let me know that you were the one that shared with your followers first. I'm going to hook you up with a $5 gift card wherever you want. All right, so let me know where that's at. But here's what I want to do. Yeah, hit me up, Jim, Jim and Faith. I'm going to hit you up with that. Um, but here's what I want you guys to do <clears throat> or understand. This is what, you know, because the political stuff's starting to happen. Not, you know, Donald Trump, um, you know, obviously there's always political stuff going on with, you know, uh, our president we have now and, and so on and so forth. But here's the deal. Here's what I used to get sucked into, which unfortunately ruins your chances with current customers, ruins your chances with potential customers, and ruin your uh, chances, just period, end of story, okay? So I've already seen a lot of people do this. They're posting about Donald Trump's speech, and they're giving their opinion about it, okay? And when you give your opinion about it, right, and it is not what the opinion of some of the other people that you may have been cultivating around your community, uh, that's not their same opinion, you immediately put a barrier in between what you're really doing for them and what's happening in their business and their life, okay? So let's say, for example, even if I said I loved what Donald Trump was doing and some of you guys who don't love what Donald Trump was doing feel the barrier that could happen in between that particular situation. So for now on, right, if I said that, you would think to yourself, well, this dude's already wrong at that, right? That, that opinion's wrong, so immediately it puts a barrier in between us. Now, if I said that I disagreed with Donald Trump, I would put a barrier in between myself of those of you guys who are listening who agreed with Donald Trump, okay? So I'm not saying that you should conform, right, to what everybody wants because we're all natural, we all have our own gifts, we all have our own talents, but so many people put barriers and walls, unnecessary barriers, and walls in between potential customers, current customers, and then future customers. What's the point? What's the point in engaging in the political conversation? Think about that to yourself. What is the actual point? Is there really a point to it? No. Donald Trump, what he's doing right now, unfortunately, by his opinions running for the presidency and all that stuff that he's doing, he's cutting customers off of coming into his hotels, his golf courses, all the stuff that he has done and why he's worth a billionaire is because he hasn't engaged in the political nonsense of the world. But watch, he's going to actually lose thousands of customers coming to his buildings now because of what he said. Thousands of customers going to his golf courses. Thousands of customers doing all that stuff, right? And that's the thing. All right, he's not saving a lot of money. He's not doing anything good for his brand. Some people think it is, but it's not. It's not at all, okay? So you to engage in that conversation, all that's going to do is block off barriers of people that could have been your customer because the end goal, right, for most of you guys are entrepreneurs and it's probably to sell a product to your customers, right, to potential customers. And if you block and if you put walls up, unnecessary walls, all you're doing is taking money out of your pocket and letting it go to somebody else. So there's no point, all right? There is no point of doing that, 
All right, and so I had to actually, there's been so many times where I want to engage in it, and then I realized what I've done in the past, which ends up losing me uh, customers in the future. It's just stupid, right? If you're if you're of celebrity status, right, and you're doing what Donald Trump's doing for the political aspects of things to gain more, right, uh, attention into his life, maybe, maybe it's gonna work, right? But you, you're a small fry. I'm a small fry. We're all small fries. Our opinions don't matter because we're not Donald Trump. Our opinions just put barriers into our potential customers that we could have had. Okay? So I want you guys to understand this concept, and I want you to think about it moving forward. It goes beyond political nonsense. It goes beyond all this stuff. Because remember, money is the driving force in these political campaigns. Period. End of story. The only reason he's running for it is because he's got money. The only reason that uh, the president is where he's at right now is because he had people provide money. It's like some stupid $800 billion or something crazy to run for president or $800 million. Just dumb. <laughs> Just dumb. All that money that could be done literally with, or all the things that could be done with that money is just crazy. It's crazy to me. It's just so dumb. Like the whole thing to me is just silly because it's all a money game. So, yeah, a few billion, period. So it's crazy. And so here's the reality of what I want you guys to understand. You need to put your focus in that will, re that will give you the reward, right? So where is your focus flowing? All right? So if you focus on the political stuff, you focus on the stuff you can't control, what's that doing for your life? Think about it. Nothing. Type nothing if you feel what I'm saying. If you focus on other people's nonsense and problems and political stuff, what's that doing for your life? Absolutely nothing. All right? I want to see nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. So what's the only thing that matters in your circle, in your entrepreneur's circle? What's the only thing that matters? You and your customers. Right? You and your potential customers. <laughs> Jamie's right, your hair is the only thing. I have no idea what that means. So what I want you guys to understand is where the focus goes, right, the energy flows. All right? Where the focus goes, the energy flows. And where that energy is flowing, right, is what will bring that income into your life. Okay? So, Jamie is right talking about pyramid schemes. I have no idea, so we'll just go ahead and block him, I believe. Jamie, do you want to get blocked? Let's make sure. Let's see if Jamie wants to get blocked. Let's find out. Jamie, go ahead and just comment one more time if you want to get blocked real quick. You want to get blocked? All right, cool. We'll go ahead and block that person. All right, blocked in action. Uh, somebody just asked what business I'm in. We do several different things. Just go to vincentjradvice.com and put in your name and email, and you'll get to see exactly what we're doing around here. Basically, what I do is I help entrepreneurs get better <laughs> at the end of the day and I help people work smarter not harder by utilizing technology all right you're using technology you're so much smarter and you're so much ahead of what other people are doing it's crazy most people are still doing everything the hard way the old way and uh, really at the end of the day the reason why technology is here is for us to grow faster I mean think about how long okay so we've been on this this broadcast for about five minutes or so maybe six minutes seven minutes Talk to probably about, I don't know, we got 38 people here right now at just random time at 10.40 p.m. 100 people will see this probably, then 100 people will see the replay. How long, right? I want you guys to think about this, and this is why you're so smart to be on here right now. How long, let's say this broadcast and what I'm talking to you about right now, how long would it take me to touch 200 people's lives with what, this information? If I did it one-on-one -on -one conversations. How long would that take me? 10, so let's say this goes for 10 minutes. 10 minutes times 200 people is what? 10 minutes times 200 people is how long? I want you guys to do the math right there. I don't even know how to do the math on that. So let's do it just for fun. 10 minutes times 200 people is 2,000, <laughs> 2,000 minutes, right? And then we'll divide that by 60. That would take me 33 hours 
to converse with 200 people this exact same message that I'm saving you right that I'm saying to you right now. <laughs> That's without breaks, 33 hours straight. Okay? And so the people who don't understand how powerful technology is, they need to wake up. They need to wake up. Okay? This is why I hardly ever do one-on-ones at all anymore, unless it's somebody that I can tell is really excited and engaged into what we're doing. Okay? Literally, over the last seven years, I've been seen, my face has been seen millions of times by people because of technology videos. And if we had Periscope seven years ago, oh my gosh, it would just be so amazing. So freaking amazing. All right? You guys are the you guys are the people who are who are waking up to this reality the quickest. It's crazy. All right? It's absolutely crazy. So, let's do this. I want to give away another $5 gift card just randomly. I found a cool thing called egifter.com and you can give away five uh you can give away gift cards all day long, which is pretty cool. So, if you guys swipe right or swipe up, you should be able to share this with your followers and you should be able to share this on Twitter, and, and I'm going to write down the names of the people who share this, and, and, and then I'm going to tell you who wins, and hit me up on Facebook, and I'll give you a $5 gift card, for sure, let's hook it up, I already got Jamie a $5 gift card, and I'll, I'll show you where, I mean, you can literally go to Amazon, Applebee's, Best Buy, Burger King, CVS, Pharmacy, Home Depot, it's cool, so do it real quick, I should be able to see it, if I can't see it, then obviously I, I believe I can. Jamie is right. Who cares? I don't. I think he's. I think he's been blocked. <laughs> I think he's already been blocked. Um, you guys might be coming through late if you sh if you're seeing him because I've already blocked Jamie is right a long time ago. So go ahead and let me see if you're getting this. You might. It might be delayed right now. If you guys have if you if you have shared it, let me know. All right. So it's not letting you share it. It looks like in the beginning, maybe it was the only ability for people to share. I don't know why you guys. <laughs> I don't know why you guys are seeing old comments though, which is kind of weird. I wonder if it's glitching tonight because it doesn't make any sense. Shared to all followers. You guys already shared. Why can't I see it then? I gotta figure out what the deal is because I only saw Jamie shared. I only saw Jamie face share. Jamin. Jam and Faye shared is the only person I, I saw shared, which is weird. So we'll have to try this again. Maybe I gotta do it right in the beginning or something. Somebody share, see if somebody, just somebody share right now and then comment if you just shared. And I wanna see. Let's see. It's, it's, this is weird, it's not showing me. Hmm, we're gonna have to figure this out because I want to be able to write down all your names who are sharing this stuff. We'll do this on the next one for sure, but I want to start giving away gift cards just for fun because I want I want uh, you guys to see. Um, I want to start, you know, really showcasing you guys who are here with me all the time on these as well. So weird. Oh, it's not showing me who shared. I wonder if it, let me look down here. Or. Is Jamie still saying stuff and I can't see, like, this Jamie other guy? It shows me the first time. I blocked this. It's weird. I blocked him. You still see Jamie is right talking right now? I blocked him for the stream. And I can't see him. I wonder if you guys have to block him. Huh, that's weird. I already blocked him. Jamie is not happy. <laughs> So weird. Let's do this real quick. Let's go back. I wonder why you guys can still see him. What are the stream? Huh. That's weird you guys can still see him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get off of this. We'll go back on and I want to do the share thing. And I've already blocked him, which is weird. Interesting. Let's go back off of this and see if he comes back. All right, we'll be right back. Just just log back on here in a second. You'll get a notification.